the Women in Construction Excellence Awards, it's a concept that's been devised by Totally Concrete Expo and as well as the African Construction Expo. And they come about because there's a recognition that as a country and as a continent, we do need to celebrate um, the expanded role that women continue to play and that they've been playing for a long time now within the construction industry. And it's also quite critical that we also highlight the diversity that exists within um, our industry. And therefore, to honor these women today and many others that have not made it on the list but that continue every single day to make a positive impact and to contribute to the development and the growth of our industry. And we also honor those women who have pioneered the development of the African built environment. So these awards have included women from South Africa and from outside our borders as well. And so it's a great pleasure for me, and I'm quite close to the subject, that we give a platform to the emerging leaders um, to this industry. Um, without much further ado, I would like to welcome Mr. Mzwandile Sokupa, representing the Department of Public Works, to please give us a few words. Thank you. Program Director, speakers and delegates to the conference, the award contestants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to be standing here representing the Construction Industry Development Board as well as the entire Public Works family, the general sponsor of this award ceremony. Today we have 120 women-owned contractors registered in Grade 7, 25 in Grade 8, and two women registrations in Grade 9 which is the highest uh, grades of the register of CIDB. This is a far cry from where we want to be as a nation and as the industry, but it is progress. It shows that the wheels are in motion. We need to accelerate the progress. We need to improve the rate of increase in women moving up the grades. This morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud that we are honoring outstanding women who have shown dedication to excellence in the construction and the tenacity to succeed in spite of these industry challenges. These women will be receiving awards in the following categories, industry transformation, emerging excellence, and African project leader. Again, ladies and gentlemen, a special thanks to the Department of Public Works for honoring these women of excellence. Thank you. It is indeed an honor to announce the winners of the awards in the various categories. The first um, award is in the category industry transformation. And the winner is Miss Malachi Padiachi. Saman. Ms. Ms. Malachi Padiachi Saman was the first female civil engineer to graduate from the University of Devon Westville. She is the founder and CEO of Malani, of Malani Padiachi and Associates Pty Limited with the company celebrating its 17th year of existence in July this year. Apart from heading the company, she is still very much involved with the technical side of engineering, which is her passion. Malani is passionate about empowering the youth and women in, in engineering. Apart from her passion for developing individuals, she pays meticulous attention to detail and is sensitive to individuals and their needs. She prides herself in mastering technical complexities with the utmost professionalism and always delivers superior service to her clients with naturally developed multitasking abilities. Malani's ethos has always been that it takes people to uplift people and this is evident in the work she performs 
every day. Thank you for the acknowledgement, and I am truly disappointed that I could not be present today with you. I would like to encourage other young females in the industry to go with your natural instinct. And if you have a yearning to one day create your own organization, be bold and never look back. It is possible to achieve a successful career and a balanced family life. Congratulations, Melanie. The next award is in the category of Amazing Excellence. And it goes to Miss Adele Lombard, who is the Structural Engineer at Gibbs uh, Consulting Engineers South Africa. Adele Lombard has been an outstanding employer from her first day with Gibb. Even though she is only 27 years old, she has exceeded most expectations and has shown her professional ex excellence on many occasions. She is a professional under all circumstances and handles all situations with controlled calmness, regardless of the situation. She joined Gibb as a cum laude student from Stellenbosch University, and she will be submitting her application for registration as a professional engineer at the end of the year. She has already done more than is necessary to make the application, but in her eyes, she has not gained sufficient experience to suit her own high standards and will not be submitting her application for registration until she, has satisfied, until she is satisfied with those standards. Her training to date has been varied and comprehensive. She was the instrumental designer of the Sikupe control tower and critical buildings. EMS buildings at the University of the Free State, Talium Hotels, and the monorail project in Port Harcourt. These projects invo involved very complicated designs, which required her to consult with former professors. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Adele Lombard. I have learned a lot, still have a lot to learn. And uh, certainly, in the first world countries, they are relatively developed in the construction industry. We have things to learn from them, but we also have our own place and our own ideas to develop. Um, we could really thank you for um, the, the Concrete and, and Construction Awards. The, this is one of the things that help us to develop our own ideas. And in conclusion, I would just like to say we are a generation that could take a step back and ask questions, why do we do this? Is it really necessary? How can we make it better for now and for the future? So for us, we could really make this our own and develop it in our way. Thank you very much. In the category of African Project Leader, and the award goes to Mrs. Azeb Asnaki, the CEO of Ethiopian Electric Power uh, EPP in Ethiopia. <laughs> Mrs. Azeb has enormous experience in civil engineering construction. She is currently working as CEO of Ethiopian Electric Power and project manager of GIB3 Hydroelectric Power Project with the following features. Uh, installed capacity of 1,870 megawatts at a cost of 1.47 billion euros. The highest RCC dam in the world with 246 meter height. Moreover, she is now leading Ethiopian Electric Power, the bulk power supplying company to Ethiopia, Sudan, 
Djibouti, and other African countries. She is innovative and an icon for most Africans in the construction industry. Congratulations. I'm highly honored and deeply contented to receive this prestigious Women in Construction Award today. As you are aware, construction is thought to be a job of men. But nowadays, thanks to the change of attitude, more and more female professionals join the sector. And many of them have registered outstanding achievements. It requires encouraging those in the sector to continue their valuable contributions and to attract others to join them. The Women in Construction Award I received today would not only encourage myself to enhance my professional contribution, but also all female constructors, thus it's dedicated to all my sisters in the sector. I would like to thank those who have initiated and promoted the idea of recognizing women in construction, especially women in the African context. The award naturally encourages women in Africa and elsewhere. My sincere gratitude goes to the Totally Concrete and African Construction Ex Expo for organizing such awards to commend women who are struggling to get results. Thank you all partners, sponsors, exhibitors, and organizers who made this event a reality. I also take this opportunity to thank, to thank my parents who let me go to school in the first place to get the necessary education. All my colleagues and friends, the Ethiopian government who believed in me without full support, participation, and advice, I would not have reached where I am today. I would have not also reached where I am had it not been to the support, care, tolerance, and patience of my family. My special thanks goes to my beloved husband, Dr. Tebebe, my daughter, Ndeke Tebebe, and my son, Mikael Tebebe. I owe them a debt of gratitude. Last but not least, I would like to thank Ms. Stephanie Pillai and her team for all their support. I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to invest in Ethiopia, where the infrastructure construction sector is booming. We are committed to transform Ethiopia, who used to be cited as an example of famine. Ethiopia has now exhibited a double-digit annual growth. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thank you. Um, this recognition for their, for their success in the construction industry is also just a recognition to the African women, to their perseverance. Because a lot of the time we don't actually understand, or rather we take for granted, that for any woman to work hard and to come up to be a successful person in their career and in their workplace, first of all, some of them, and in some African countries, they needed to have put up a fight to be educated in the first place. So, you know, particularly looking at what has happened in Nigeria, I really wish to wish all of you well, the women that have participated, but I also wish to ask all of you who are present here today and those who are not present, who are our colleagues, that we need to put as much as we can into the education of the girl child. Because if you educate a girl child, you really are truly educating not only her, but her family and the nation as a whole. So we really need to put in a lot of effort and a lot of investment, whether from corporate companies or from us as individuals giving back to our communities, to educate our girl children. And what we've seen here this morning from Ms. Malani Padiachi, Mrs. Aznab, as well as Ms. Lombard, is a true reflection of what we can achieve as a nation and as a continent if we do put our investments into the education of women. Thank you.